What's up? It's Desmond, and I'm gonna show you how to process rap vocals like a boss. So, step one, you're gonna want to grab your raw recordings. So you could go to like Splice if you're a producer and you're not a rapper, or you rec you can record your own vocals. You should record your own vocals. So when you're recording vocals. Just go for good character. Go for good character. And you can do a couple takes. Like, s don't just like record one take and say, oh, fuck it. If that sounds shit, then that's how it's going to sound. Like, keep going till it sounds good. Like, you gotta, especially at the beginning, like, if you're just all the things you record sound like shit you just gotta like tell yourself to sound like keep going but like just lose whatever energy is making you sound shit like you're probably like I don't know distracted when you're rapping or maybe you just have like trouble like s stringing sentences together properly I feel like that's something everyone has somewhat of a struggle with but just do whatever you need to do to get a good take. Once you got a good take, then you process it to make it sound better. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, whipping forms, we gon' pass. So that was like the third take, and I liked it. Step one, throw on the gate. The gate cuts out all the background noise, or almost all of it. So you're gonna wanna adjust it. Smoking that gas, got off the grass. Till if it's too low, it'll leave all the background noise in. If you push it up too high. Smoking that gas, got off fucks up your vocal. Just put it right in the middle. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, whip it for we gon' pass. Perfect. Next, compressor. Because you're a human being and not a synth robot. Your vocal is not going to be that consistent. So you got to make it consistent with a compressor. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, whip it for us, we gon' pass. So you see we're getting a good amount of reduction the entire time. And that's making sure the vocal's more level. Now, this is a free, actually, free plugin, I believe. But you could also be using, like, most mix engineers use the waves. I think they're like the like the three two A and the three A. I don't remember. Okay, so we got EQ cutting out all oh, the low end. No low end. Low end is bad. Makes your mix muddy. Sounds like shit. So here's some secret desert sauce. Throw in the OTT on the vocals. About halfway depth. Don't think I even changed anything else. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, with it for us, we gon' pass. It just boosts the good frequencies in my voice and cuts down some of the bad ones. It just sounds better. It's really just adding more high end and cutting out a little bit of low end, but it does it in like a good way. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, with it for us, we gon' pass. If you could hear that, it just got a lot thicker when you had the camel crusher. Um you can just mess around with the settings. There's never really any set like settings you have. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, with it for us, we gon' pass. About just messing around and just finding something that sounds good. So like, there's so many fucking people on YouTube with. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, with. Just, just hold up for a second. Listen to this. There's so many people on YouTube with strong opinions about like specifically what settings you should be using, but it's really just what sounds good with the source material that you're trying to process to sound better. So like take everything with a grain of salt and just follow what gets you good results. So we got the Pro G, so we got another gate, right? So. All this compressors and distortion brings up the background noise. 
we want that gone though so we throw a gate on after all that too now we have an EQ so here's a real sauce like honestly vocal chains the most important thing the most important thing is the EQ mainly cutting out the low end because most of the time your recordings will have just way too much low end they'll just be muddy as fuck uh, and then like a couple like a couple different however many points you need like Guys, I go crazy with the EQ, like, so many EQs, some of my chains, like, it's crazy, that's what you gotta do. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, with it for us, we gon' pass. Without. Smoking that gas, got off the grass. With. Smoking that gas, got off the grass, with it for us, we gon' pass. It's pretty good throw on a doubler make it a little bit fatter because this sometimes doing these kind of things can make the vocals really thin and then ooh more desert sauce the art acoustic reverb with the slapback echo delay ready smoking that gas got off the grass with it for us we gonna pass so it adds like it adds a little bit echo. smoking smoking that but it's not like harsh and crisp like delay instead it's more of like an echo like reverb plus reverb fuck delay that's what this would be um, so that is my how to for processing rap vocals if you like this recording and you want to put it in your productions Feel free to go cop the pack. And I'm going to play this chain that I just used on a couple other recordings. Oh, this one's nice. I like this one. Fire a mill in the safe. Fire a mill in the safe. Yeah, so, so basically, oh, here's one more thing one more little bit of sauce before this video ends once you have your vocal chain always always record through the vocal chain with your headphones on listening to the vocal chain right so because you really want to tailor your delivery for what sounds best at the end like you're not trying to impress your friends in the room with you if you're rapping with your friends like with your tone like you could have like a really annoying sounding voice in normally but like if you fully embrace that and just say fuck it and just go fully to that sound and then just process it in the right way it'll sound good so that's why it's so important but there's one little bit of problem so a lot of these plugins add a lot of latency like doubler so you're gonna have to disable any of the plugins in your chain that add latency uh, yeah that's pretty much it think that's a good amount of information so hope you enjoyed feel free to go cop that vocal pack if you fuck with it and happy producing rapping songwriting all that shit later